want to shoot this video real quick because I didn't record what actually happened as we pulled into camp at the end of day one. It was late and we've been on the trail for like 12 hours it seems like. And we were close to that because it was getting dark. Uh, we actually pulled into camp after dark. Um, there was a hill climb that I tried to go up with uh, the geo tracker and I slid off the ledge off to the side and when I did, I came down really hard on the passenger side uh, and it broke the rear passenger axle. And also the front passenger axle uh, got, that tire got stuck in like a crevice type thing and that axle got damaged as well. We didn't know that at the time as to what it was, but we did know that something wasn't right. And so that's kind of where this video picks off at, picks back up at. We're, uh, it's 1230, so I've been up for six hours. We've already had this rig tore apart. <sighs> Turns out we're pretty sure the front axle is broken, the ring and pinion gear. Um, we got the radiator back in, we're waiting. There's a poker run or something going on here, so there's like a hundred Jeeps slowly but surely in this line trying to come up and uh, climb that right there. So half the group took off already this morning to Rubicon Springs and the other half of us are just gonna wait we're probably gonna get put on a tow rope so that we can get through some stuff but as far as we know we have rear wheel drive but not front wheel drive so we're just gonna hang out watch these Jeeps try to climb this thing here and then after they get out of the way maybe like an hour or so later uh, then we'll head on to the next spot where we're gonna camp for the night again and then we'll get towed out Sunday morning and hit the highway. Oh, this is the line they're trying to take. It's been all JK's most of the day. And there's some more there, and some more there, and some more there. And they're all the way back up past the dam. Oh no, it looks like this could be towards the end of it. So, this is what we've been doing. Well, I just got out of the lake, but watching these guys go by then what's the major activity for today? We have rear wheel drive, possibly only one, so the locker may be broken. Um, we're gonna do the winch, low, winch, winch rope and toe strap. And they're gonna haul us out of here, so. Looks like this adventure is uh, done under our own power, and now we're going to rely on everybody else. We're going to spend the next five miles or so hooked to this Jeep. We got uh, only one wheel peel, so it looks like we broke the locker in the rear end also. So we're going down Big Sluice. We got unhooked so as that uh, it'd be a little easier to do. Sounds like still only got one wheel drive, but that's the way that goes. So we did some driving, but mostly towing, um, from Buck Lake, I think is what it's called, to we are currently on the bridge at uh, Rubicon Springs. Last I heard, the plan was to take a break here and then head up and out of here. You gotta go up Cadillac Hill. It's been about three hours. To make that trek which really was not bad at all consider we did 12 hours yesterday on the trail okay. we made it out to rubicon springs we're staying at a place called dirty dozen we finally caught up with everybody 
Took a, another quick trip into the water. Got the tent over here into the bushes because we only got one wheel drive. We can't make it up that hill. So we're just backed over across the other side of the trail. Gonna enjoy the night and we'll see what happens afterwards. behind the Jeep this morning heading out day three it's 5 45 6 o'clock in the morning and for some reason this morning now the tracker doesn't want to stay late we'll just uh, get towed up we got to go up Cadillac Hill and then a couple other sketchy sections and hopefully it stays lit later because there's gonna be some driving and we still got to drive home this trip has been so much fun even though we're not driving out of here I mean uh, other than that, as long as we can get back to the road and drive home. Dolly and Derek have been awesome. They seem to be enjoying it as much as we do. They don't... I mean, if, if they're annoyed or... They're not showing it. They seem to be having a good time. We're going to haul this thing the rest of the way up. We still got to go through the famous uh, Cadillac Hill. And, uh... Man, it's just been a great time. This beautiful country out here had a wonderful couple of days on the rubicon definitely not ready for it this rig had i known that uh it was like a five mile rock garden we definitely would have packed differently and brought something else but that's okay everybody in the group was great and we've already started making our plans for next year now we'll just uh keep dragging the little overland build out of here and up the hill and the mosquitoes are thick down here too. Slowly working our way up Cadillac Hill. It's been a winch fest. Um, at the bottom, the third turn, well, I don't know if it's really a turn, but whatever, I uh, blew the rest of the rear diff, so now I have no wheel drive. So that's another problem we'll have to figure out when we do get out of here is now how we get home. I did! We're in another precarious position and just wanted to put the recorder on in case something bad happens. battery's gonna die so we'll end the video here we're loaded up on a u-haul family came down to help us out they drove all the way from oregon to help us get this thing back on a trailer had we known what the rubicon was really like uh we'd have planned differently but i don't necessarily say i regret coming i definitely don't regret coming had a great trip the group was great thanks for watching the rubicon trail video from this year's zuki con uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Put your comments down below. Consider subscribing to the channel. I've got over a hundred geo tracker videos. Um, as you can see, we've got the Overland Geo Tracker build back at home. Um, got most of it fixed up. Here's the uh, three broken axle pieces. Right there. There'll be a video coming out here soon about fixing this thing and having to get that thing in order to do it. So. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Please continue to support the channel. Put your comments down below. And as always, follow along on the Instagram for the daily updates. Trash Panda Off-Road.